Hi everyone. Right, what I've got here now is um, I'm going to be showing you how to do a, a this and that page. Um, as you all know, uh, I love just to create pages or hangers. This is, I think this is going to be a hanger because I don't want to cut the excess off. And as you can see, there's quite a little bit there to do. Now, I think my heat gun, my glue gun's ready and all I'm going to do is just pop some glue there for now fold that over and that should be fine I'm also going to don't want it all the way up the top but from here just put a little bit there for safety and again on this side I need to keep that open of course and that's given me a, a nice page to work with um, I'm not fussed about this being slightly out here the lines are the same and what I've got to work with um, like I say is I, do, I am selling the kit and it's a this and that kit that's what it's called they're just bits of this and bits of that but you know you get some really nice trimmings um lots of things to create edges oh, i'm going to do mine as an edge and i think i need to work out which part i want to do i do like this as an edging look it's like half a doily and um i just don't see the point in wasting it so it's a this and that kit <laughs> and let's just go ahead and see what we've got. They don't have to be the same all the sides, they don't have to be the same at all. I do like this. So what I'm going to do is cut this bit off because I don't need that. So I've got a nice long piece, but like I say, you don't need to put the same on all four sides. The idea is to build up um, your page or hanger. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's a page or a hanger. It's whatever you decide you want it to be. I'm sorry if the camera's moving a little bit. I can't help it. I'm going to have to get another fitting for it. Because since my grandson made my shelving, do you remember he made that little shelving unit for me? Um, I've got that on my desk, I have to use it. And it's quite handy actually, it's just that I've got a long arm then that whizzes about when it, you move anything. And so sometimes it can be distracting, but I try not to make too much movement. So I'm basically, I mean this came off a tablecloth, so I'm just cutting this bit off. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it or how. I like to play, as you know. And from nothing, you can make something beautiful. So we're going to do that. Hopefully. <laughs> you never know. Might be rubbish. Might be total rubbish. Now, I have two parcels that have arrived. One arrived last week that I've not had the chance to film yet. I did promise I'd, I would and I've just not got round to it. So I'm going to film that one later this week. And another one that arrived. Somebody sent me some gorgeous uh, vintage material. And uh, so I can't wait to share that with you. Um, so I haven't forgotten and uh, i'm quite looking forward to sharing somebody's made me uh, one of the ladies has made me a bag well she decorated a bag i'm thrilled it's gorgeous used all the doilies she's been buying from me <laughs> beautiful it is right let's have a look now i could speed this up and whatever but i choose not to because i like you to come along for the ride so um and we can chat now and again, can't we? But if it's speeding up, we don't, you can't do that. So I'm just going to cut that off there. If I need a bit more, I've got that. Just get rid of that because I don't actually use them kind of bits. 
Now, let's have a look. Is this a straight piece? Yes. So, I think what I'm going to do is to start on this edge, go around there. Because the top piece I can do something with. So hopefully you can see. Let me just check you can see that page. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. And um, see like that. Let me just see if I can straighten this up a little bit. So you don't have to have things neat and tidy. I'm just a little bit OCD sometimes. <laughs> so what I might do... See, I do actually like that as a back cover. Like that. So I'm going to leave that as is and just glue. Just glue it. Because I like that. We've got that on the edge. Let's keep that there. Just going to spin it round so I can work with it because I am a. Uh, a little bit um, after well I have to see things properly how I'm going to be using them so sometimes I can't can't work upside down silly isn't it really but so true right let's have a look I kind of like that on there and um, I'm just going to cut it I'm, I'm going to cut the doily section off and that can fold because don't forget there's no right and wrong way of doing anything you do what you want okay so what I'm going to do take that underneath and uh, Fold that in like that. And we've got the doily section here. I'm just going to fold that like so. Now, not undo that. Undo that. Yeah, we don't need to mess about with that. Stick that back together. Didn't really need to undo it, but never mind. There you go. I'm going to do the same here with this section, which means start at the other end and trim this off. Like I say, I know uh, some of the newbies in that day, I get asked an awful lot, oh, I'm bothered about doing this, I might make a mistake. There's no right and wrong way to craft. And um, just do what you want to do. If you want to do something, go ahead and do it. Who's to tell you you can't do it? That would be silly. So I just say, whatever you want to do, go for it. If you don't like it, you change it. But you'll never know unless you try things. Will you? So, like I say... Yeah, we think I like that. I'm just going to cut that section off. Yeah, I'm going to just fold that in. I'm not bothered about this whatsoever. See, don't glue yourself up like I do. Just fold that over like that. I ain't fussed about this at all. Yeah, I like that. Now I started at the top here and didn't quite fill that in. And this one I didn't cut. I was going to turn it over and decided not to. A hey ho, doesn't matter whatsoever. There we go. So that's that. But I am going to use. Let me see. See what I mean about this and that? You can do absolutely anything you want to do. And I've got heaps and heaps and heaps of things. Mix and match, I don't care. You can mix all of, uh, match all of these. 
We shall get there. I want that one, I know that, because I like the frill on that. Let me just see what else we've got. Oh yeah, I want some of that for after. Hang on, because I've got heaps. Yeah, might want that as well. I need to find the longish one. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. So, all I'm going to do, it was just a doily. And I've cut the middle out, used it for something else. So it left me with this. Now, if you notice, when they're a round doily and you pull that straight, you get a gather. But I'm going to gather this a little bit more. So, first of all, we're just going to glue this section in. Um, and we're just going to glue it onto there. Onto the edge, not onto here. And then, like I say, how much have we got? Yeah, this, there's enough there to gather it. Glue stick, glue stick, glue stick. So, I'm just going to do about an inch at a time pull that in give it a little tuck so all you need to do a little tuck here and there see which just gives it a little bit more gather and I'm only doing a rough inch at a time like that I hope you can see this I know the light's not very good at the moment making sure we've got a nice width here and you can just it, these doilies they look so so pretty where when you use them like this so this is my uh, what I'm going to call my this and that hanger because it's just made out of this and that all the little scrappy bits that you would throw away and I have heaps of these and that's why I decided that I was going to make bundles with them now of course I'm going to charge because I've had to pay for them in the first place um, and it doesn't mean they're not worth a few bob because they are most of what I have are vintage see see how that's pretty love it so we'll move that one on now I do have some of this look and I absolutely love it now what I might do is put that underneath like so now i did ah i didn't see that one there that's good because i can do this so let me just cut some of this now i don't want it as a trim i'm gonna when i say a trim a full trim i'm gonna cut sections of this out it's these i'm after see i'm gonna get these that's what I want. Make sure I get them right. So we just cut them here and there. Not sure how many I'm going to need. But we'll take six, I think, seven or eight, something like that. Let's just move that out of the way, see what we can do with these. Right, because I've done uh, sealed this up here, I'm just going to make sure, look, so they're just going to just go on like that. They just, 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 just. <laughs> look. They can just go th like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure we've got one on this end as well. And then work the uh, distance out for the others. Say so that's the middle, something like that. Doesn't have to be spot on. 
but this is what you can do with doilies and tablecloths and bits and pieces use up what you've got because it all helps there look at that do you know what leave them there I'm going to put a couple in between as well just to fill it out I think that'll look pretty neat like I say they don't have to be perfect there's another one you know perfectly spaced out or anything it's completely up to you what you want so let me just trim that let's just get this right may need to need uh, may need or want to use them again later on in the project I just like the way that's given me a tasseled base or a tasseled bottom <laughs> and then what I'm going to do oh you just have to ignore me it's my sense of humour those who know me will get that <laughs> tasseled bottom <laughs> see already it started to be you know quite shabby in a nice way of course so I do like that now what else can we do with this well I have uh, where's that piece I wanted to put on I absolutely love this it's quite a, a nice doily section and I'm going to I think now do I want that at the top or do I want that at the bottom I'm going to put this one on first again it's just a doily so we just cut that and um, I'm just going to go across uh, this section here and uh, pull it in let me turn it around so you can see what I'm doing he's just pinching it a little bit And they're perfect to these doilies, you know. So you get to use the middle section and this as well. You know, when they're those larger doilies and you think, oh God, they're a bit big, cut it up. Cut it up and sort it out and make something pretty with it. Now we're not going to waste that bit and I'll show you how to use them up later on. Look, isn't that pretty? just pretty and that's more gather and you can still see each layer now I'm going to see if I can do one more before I put that on um, let's have a look oh here's one see again I just love them and there's no point in wasting them I want a nice full um, skirt piece so I'm going to go above, above that one now so I need to pull that in to make the gather like that yeah I can still see all layers I'll just keep going with this pull in give it that little tuck <coughs> excuse me Excuse me. <coughs> oh, dear me. Let me just finish that at the right place again. Don't waste that. I'm going to show you how to use it up. 
like that. Don't need to put the ends down. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? You can see it all. Really pretty. It's like a little skirt. <laughs> Why not? Right, I think now I'm going to put this piece on. I just have to make sure I get it the right way around and I think that's the right way around. And this piece I'm not gathering. So I think we need, that'll do. That's as much as I need. And I'm just going to go right from there. Okay, let me just turn that round a bit and uh, stretch that out to there, like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. In fact, now I'm going to pull that back really quickly. You see, this is what you can do because it's your um, project. I'm going to go up a little bit more. I want it lifting um, a little bit more, that's all. Let me just see. Yes, perfect. And that way I can see everything, every layer. Just going to take this section off here. Did I get that bit? like that so <coughs> see each layer can be seen and they're all different tones different colors um now what i'm going to do is just to build this up a little bit as well now i do have that left but i'm not sure if i want to use that just yet uh, let me see what else i've got in my little basket of tricks Oh, I've got this one. See, this was also a doily. Um, and I, what it is, I like these. I like those. So I'm just going to cut that. And cut that section. Now, I'm going to start to make a curve. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Let's have a look. I got the middle section. Yeah, there's the middle. So I'm just going to start and uh, just pop that section in there. And then, yeah, we're going to bring that round. Okay, so bring that in, bring that in bring that in so I'm just making these meet bring that in bring that in and bring that in Let me just turn this round so I can see what I'm doing a little bit on each you do have to be careful because you can end up burning yourself slightly <clears throat> like that there we go just to bring that in like that just going to do some you know I'm playing that's all I'm doing is I'm playing so I like that and I'm going to go back to this one I think nope let's do something different here we'll put this one in I think so you like that yeah and I'm going to bring that in. Just get some more glue. Use a lot of glue in this, you know. So, 
Let's just check. We need that. Oh, sorry. You need. I'm going to bring mine down a little bit to see all those behind. I do want to be able to see them. Like so. Yep, that's made it okay for me to see that. So you can see all of this at the back. I like that. This is still full. That will come out of there. Now, I'm, I'm, I really do like this, but I, I might... No, I've done a layer of that. Let me just see. I do like this bit. Let me have a look. No, I'm going to stop that for a minute. Put these back and I'm just going to go to my other box where I have other bits and pieces. And um, let's just see what we can do. Now. <coughs> God, I absolutely... I like love these. Look at this material. Look at these. Oh, I've got a butterfly. I've got these that somebody made me. Nice little doilies I can use. Bits of trim. There's the start of a flower I had, so I can use that. I've got a couple of those. And it's look, it's just my bit box. See? So it's a bit of this, bit of that, and you can do all sorts with them. I like that. See, I started something. Bit of tool, bit of trim. All can come in handy when I've got some of these, like leaf things. Leaf things, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, so let's have a look, see what we've got. That's a nice flower. Some more leaves bit of material so here we've got this and I just keep all sorts so let me just see I think what I'm going to do next is to put a picture on so I'm just going to come back in a minute right we're back so I found myself a picture and I've got this so I'm just going to take that off and uh, hopefully I can get everything sealed off. Now let's have a look. Yeah, I just want me to clean it a little bit, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, we can go that way. And I think I'll do that. So I'm going to take that off. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just need to get a bit more of this off. Because it showed on the picture and I didn't want that. Let me just see if that's about right. Yeah, we just have to wipe it a little bit to clean it off. we can do that there perfect there we go get glued up so let me just see I'm just gluing it onto here And then what I will do is just because you're not going to see it once it's on, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect, as we say. I'm 
right so we've got the picture that we need get rid of that now i like that there and then i can still play around with it so i'm just going to cover the picture itself and nothing more at the moment so i've got you know like a leverage underneath Like that. hopefully it's not going to burn and melt that too much no i'm quite happy with that so now i can do this you see and tuck things in if i want um i think i'm going to put my flower i mean i don't know what i'm going to do with the flower itself i'm going to put my uh flower here nearly put it in the wrong place i could have put that one underneath couldn't i here we go. See, this is where you can pull things apart and sort yourself out. I'm going to put the doily one underneath first. And then... Do the flower that I made, which is a nice lacy one. Uh, I think I'll put that one on as well. in there building up my layers love 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 these they came off a doily as you can see so i'm just gonna chop them away when i don't want them you know the bits hopefully you can see this because uh this is when I like people to watch, if they're going to watch, and that's when I'm building. Building a picture, whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to call it. See, just like that. Now... I'm also going to use one of these on each one of those. <coughs> and by that, I'm not even really going to trim much of this off. See, we're just going to use that and pop that onto there. So you're just building things up. It doesn't matter that you don't see the bow. Somebody goes like that, they'll go, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Aren't they? So it won't matter. There we go, like that. I'm just going to hire my chair a little bit. Sorry for... There we go. Now, yes, like that, it's coming along nicely. Um, I've got that, which I'm going to use as well. It's a nice full flower. There, move that to one side. Um, I've got several of these, I think. Do you know, see that bit? See, it was just a little bit of material that I took off something that I'd already made and then changed my mind. Well, I think what I'm going to do is to tuck that in there like that. And I can add to that. Now, I'm not bothered about this little bit of stain. I know somebody oh, had a bit of stain on it. It doesn't bother me in the slightest at all. It's at its age. You know, that's, it shows you how old it is. And to be reused and repurposed again. Great. I've got these out just... I'm going to put them in. Just here.
like that. Now I can put this one on. On the and on that one, I think, just so that that's like that. And if I have one more, yeah, which I have, well, three more, but one will do. Um, yeah, I just need to lift that up and poke that underneath like so pin that down see how pretty that looks layering lots of layers now let's have a look i still have one of those left so let me just see i want to put this on because i like it and it was very kindly made for me so that's there I may just cut, oh I know what I've got, do you remember the bits I said we had, well there's the doily I'm after, so there's a doily which I'm going to pop on that flower like that, um, not that one, then we've got all these others got like a catherine wheel one that uh, i used again i use for something else um i always if i undo something i always repurpose it but i like the catherine wheel and then to that i'm going to add oh i've got that one look do i need that one or do i need no, i'm going to use that one On top of that, I'm leaving the centres for now. I'm not going to do those yet. Um, right, do you remember the bits we cut off? See how pretty that is? Yeah. I think I'm just going to fit that underneath. So I just have to lift that up and sit that under there. Not for any particular reason, other than the fact I like that. <laughs> and that's it. Put that back down on top of it. Lots of layers. Now, let's have a look. Let me see. See what else we've got. Oh, look, I've got some of this trim. Isn't that pretty? See? Again just another doily but because I like it I'm also going to layer that one underneath as well I think oops let me just see let me just see about that Like that. I've not gone right underneath, I've just gone up to the frame. Like that. That's giving it like a skirt effect. Oh, I love these, absolutely love them. Let me just trim the. Now I'm just going to pop this on this side of the frame because I absolutely love that. Um, I've got one of these tiny wee doilies. Again, it's just cut from one that we've had before. That You know, they're like the centre of something. I'm going to leave that there. And um, I do have... I've got two pearls. I may use that for the centre of that or that for the centre of that I like that actually there we go like that yep 
no let me just i've got another one. Oh look they're just stunning they're very very soft they're like um oh, chenille and they came off a doily that i uh no it was a top i tell a lie it was a top i'm gonna put another one there so let me just see if i can i'm gonna put it there see if i can match up this little flower that we had um i mean they don't have to be the same oh, i'm being a little bit anal about it but uh, hopefully i can find one similar Right, let me just see. A tiny one, maybe? Oh, we've got one of those. I think we'll use that. No, too small. No, but there's a little fly. See, that's I've just pulled it off something else. I'm going to put that in that top corner. No, I'm not going to put it here. <laughs> change my mind all the time let me just find one more i've got another leaf got one matching so that goes in with that one and then we need another one of those because that's gonna go there even though that's leaning onto that frame i've still got it to do what i want it to do and, oh, and i like those there now i've got a smaller leaf uh, which I'm going to use to come out there I hope you've managed to see all of this we just see oh, I've got another leaf there we go see I just keep them off the uh, different doilies um, that can go there I've got another one look hmm what I might do is just do that. Yeah, I like that. We'll make them all the same, sort of. <coughs> see, like that. Let me see if I can find another little one. Another little piece to go with it. No. Nope. You'll just have to bear with me because. Uh, I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of scrappy little bits in my boxes. I've got one, but it's in there, look. But I don't want to waste that one. And uh, it's just a nightmare. Look, just going through it, just a nightmare. You just I've got dozens and dozens of boxes like this. The bits I've just collected. So a little leafy thing might pop up here and there more of those soft ones oh got one got one And I've got a couple of these little leaves that I'm going to pop in here. Like that. Used everything up that, you know, bits and bobs. Now, the kit that's for sale is called This and That Kit. And you're going to get an array of these bits. This is what it'll be. There'll be some doilies, there'll be some leaves, there'll be some little flowers, little petals, some beading. And you will get things like this enough to make a hanging, a wall hanging. And uh, it's called this and that, and you will find it on the store. Um, there aren't many, uh, but there will be more coming up. So, but grab them if you can. Go and grab one. Now, I'm just going to go and get myself some uh, bling. Let's choose a bit of bling. For my... Uh, 
beautiful, beautiful hanging because I think it's come out really well. And all I am doing is just finding little bits and pieces. Oh, I might put that on. I've been there long enough for need using up. It's just bits and pieces of bling that need using. Um, now I always put a shade of pink in many of my uh, projects, even though it might be creams. I've got this pink earring and I'm going to put it in this flower, to be honest. Because it's kind of like a signature thing I have. That I, um, you know, add a bit of pink. I'm just going to pop that there. I've got these here, shall we? Do we need to waste them? <laughs> Maybe not. Let's have a look. Bit more bling here. Do you know? Let's have a look. Not sure. But I do like that. Okay, just in that top corner as decoration. Yeah, like that. Uh, now what I've got is this little bit of uh, frilly fabric and I'm going to cut it in half and I'm just going to pop a little bit there. Let me just sort this out. just behind here to lift that just have a bit more layering and frill and I think I'm going to do the same here as well so I'm just going to trim that it's got a nice pattern to it and it came off a sleeve would you believe it and that's all the piece I had and I've held on to it and held on to it. I think I used a bit or oh, a little tiny strip of it oh some time ago. Um, but I've held on to these two little pieces. Well, this one little piece I've now cut. Um, because I just have to have a certain... Uh, piece in mind to put it on. You know what I mean? See, just like that. I'm going to turn that around. Oops, it is. Let me get my uh, lead again. I've dropped it. Where have we gone? Ugh. <coughs> Otherwise, it'll go gold. <coughs> Doesn't want me to work it. There we go. Yeah, it's... Um, I'm just going to pin them edges down. I didn't uh, iron them or anything beforehand. I didn't feel I needed to. But now I wish I had. <laughs> but I'll just glue them bits down as long as you can see what it is. And then it's uh, there for the reason. And that's just to make that look a little bit more pretty. Now I've got here, it's... Um, it must have been off a vintage brooch of some sort. You know, one of those pins they wear. So what I'm going to do is take it apart. I've got two of them. I've had them a long, long while. I never used them. And it's just like a shell with a diamante in it. Uh, and I'm just going to pop that in here. Let me just turn this around to make sure I get this right. Yeah, just pop it in there. as a piece for that which will just fill that gap 
and a little bit of bling from there. Shall we have that or shall we have it go in there? No, I actually like that piece there, so I'm just going to bend that a little bit. Lift that up, pop that underneath. I'm not hiding this because you can still see it. So that goes there. Um, just got a bit of bling to find for that. And for that, I might just got like this. It's like a figure eight. And I was thinking of just. Now I'm going to put one of these in. Glue, glue, glue. Which is just a pearl and diamante bit of bling. Just there. Like that. And I don't think I'll bother with any more. Apart from that on there. Yeah, because you don't need to have too much. And out of bits and bobs, you've just sat and watched me play. And, um, you know come up with these bits with a nice wall hanging uh, and that's I'm just gonna get something to go through the top hopefully I've not glued it down and you can't use it I have got a stick somewhere a wall hanging stick that should do So we do have the tassels. I could put more in there if I wanted to. I don't want to. <laughs> right, let's have a look. There you go. My wall hanging and I can have the strings on there. So I hope you like that. I'm going to take a close up of it. all done created all of that with bits and bobs this and that that's what's in your kits and you won't get the frame you will get a picture but you won't get the frame this you'll get lots of bits and pieces to create something like that thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you all soon enjoy hope you like it run along to the store and buy your kit bye bye for now